Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today we're looking at the sixth beatitude. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. And I love that image, really, of, of seeing God. And I know it was years before the invention of glasses and lenses, but I think in some ways the image there, the way I read that beatitude, is like the heart, the pure heart, is like the lens through which we see God. Uh, I think a pure, a pure heart is the way in which we see the world as it actually is, see reality as it stands, and to see God as he is, and to see God's work for what it is, rather than to have a kind of a warped or a broken or a fractured or a fracting lens that um, doesn't portray reality as it is, but warps it or bends it or, or kind of blurs it for us and our, our, the vision of our, of our spiritual life. Um, so the question is, how do we make sure that that lens of our heart is pure and not clouded or broken or fractured? Now, in one sense, obviously, uh, the only, only reason we can even have this conversation is because Jesus has purified our hearts. Um, and the Holy Spirit has moved into our heart and is in the job of sort of clearing out the clutter of our hearts. But at the same time, we do need to cooperate with him in that work and to seek to purify our motives, our our desires, our drivers, our inner imperatives that cause us to interact with the world. And um, there's that Psalm 86 verse 11 which says, give me an undivided heart. And so often our heart is sort of fractured. There are different parts of it going off after different things, you know, uh, essentially idols that we worship instead of God. And actually we need to be able to discern those, name them and tackle them. And uh, and to assist the Holy Spirit as he seeks to de-junk our hearts of those impure motives, desires, um, and to name them. I think that's quite important, and to give them to him, and to, if necessary, take practical action to root them out of our lives. One simple way, or spiritual discipline, which people have found helpful during the course of history in terms of purifying the motives of the heart, or at least identifying what's going on in the heart, is the prayer of examine which is at the end of every day or, or maybe after you've come out of a meeting or an encounter where you, you just feel slightly unsettled it's just taking the time to pray that and say oh I felt unsettled there or I'm disturbed somehow I'm not quite sitting right with God what is it that has happened there and to pick through what's happened and to name uh, the, the desires and the thoughts and the impressions of your heart and just to search them with God there's that wonderful a few verses at the end of Psalm 139. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there's any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. So that's a challenge for this week. How about we get into the practice of searching our hearts and asking the Holy Spirit to purify them?